I think I just want a man to treat me like the same way that he treats his p- <laughs> Like I want him to take flattering photos of me all the time. <laughs> I want those oily massages every morning. <laughs> I want to make all his decisions for him. (laughs) That's all I want. You know how big boobs used to be the sexiest thing, and now it's big butts? I don't know what's next. (laughs) But I hope it's scoliosis. Head of the curve. <laughs> I watched that uh, show Love is Blind recently. Have you seen that one? Yeah. Two people. Cool. I'm still going to do the joke. Um, <laughs> no, if you haven't seen it, it's like Nick Lachey hosts it and he comes out and he's like, all right, this is a social experiment to see if two people can fall in love without ever seeing each other. And it's like, all right, Nick. <laughs> Like, you could have just asked a blind person. (laughs) If they've ever felt love. (laughs) You didn't have to make a shitty TV show about it. For like about two years, I was in a relationship with a married guy. Yeah. I was married to him. (laughs) Actually, like, I don't regret getting married, uh, but I do regret who I married. (laughs) So, like, if you are gonna get married, uh, just don't marry Nathan Brown. from Portland, Oregon. (laughs) That guy sucks. Uh, I um, got divorced in the state of California, and when you file for divorce in California, they actually make you wait six months before it becomes finalized, uh, which is a long time, and I don't know why they do that, but I think it's probably just in case your husband decides to get a job. (laughs) Uh, That didn't happen. (laughs) If you haven't been married, I think just like marriage is a lot like Costco. Like you go into it and you're like, yeah, this is going to be good. This this double pack of honey bunches of oats is going to last forever. But then like a year later, you're only like halfway through the first bag. And you're like, I hate honey bunches of oats. I think the hardest part was like getting back into the dating scene after divorce. I compare it to like a war vet coming home from war. <laughs> going to the bar and just getting approached by a bunch of recruiters to go back to the war. You're just like, nah, man, I've been there before, it's not as fun as it seems. And if you are a war vet in here, thank you for your service, I'm not trying to do a little or anything. I'm just saying that me and you are exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I've been through it, you know? 
done some things we regret, but we're back. And we just want health insurance. <laughs> I remember I dated this guy who I thought was really funny. Like, he would always say the funniest things. But it turned out that I had just never seen Anchorman. <laughs> friend yeah. he's uh, yeah he's cool he uh, rides a motorcycle which is awesome because I'm afraid of commitment so I don't wear makeup I've never worn makeup I did. you did you learned how to do your own makeup okay well that's not your time right now to be sharing your life story. I think makeup gave you too much confidence. Maybe wear a little less makeup. Yeah. yeah. Um, my boyfriend has the same name as my brother. <laughs> A man in a relationship will sometimes end up with somebody like their mother. I don't think it's true like 100% of the time because like I'm not anything like my boyfriend's mom. But I'm a lot like his dad. <laughs> because I'm gonna leave him. So. <laughs> I grew up very religious. My parents are Christians. Um, well, my mom is a Christian. My dad is whipped. But... <laughs> that counts. <laughs> Jesus was whipped too, so he gets it. You know, like... <laughs> I don't really like that term whipped. I feel like people use the term whipped to mean like good husband <laughs> or like good boyfriend, right? Like, my boyfriend, he got called whipped because he, like, stayed in with me one night instead of going out with his friends. Which is crazy, because I even, like, gave him the choice. I was like, you can stay in with me, or you can go out and never come back. <laughs> Every night before dinner, my dad, he would uh, take a moment to thank God for the meal that my mom just made. <laughs> 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 and what the fuck, Dad? God didn't microwave this broccoli. <laughs> I have anxiety. Anybody else? Nice. Uh, yeah, I was like looking up online like how to deal with it, right? And I read this article and they were like, oh, anxiety is just misplaced excitement. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, try this. Next time you're feeling anxious, just say, I'm not anxious, I'm excited. <laughs> so I was feeling a little anxious the other day, so I was like, all right, I'll try this new hack. <laughs> I'm not anxious, I'm excited that this mole on my neck might be cancer. <laughs> And it worked, I'm pretty stoked to die. Do you think the inventor of the frozen burrito was just like eating a regular burrito and was like, you know what this is missing? Little patches of paper towel on the outside. I don't know, there's something about white women with these glasses. We just can't resist a good succulent. <laughs> I think Warby Parker put something in the lenses. <laughs> Cactuses, too. <laughs> Cacti? Okay. <laughs> Cactuses just sounds cooler. <laughs> going with cactuses. Um, there's something, there's something about cacti. 
Can't quite put my finger on it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you by yourself, dude? Oh, you're, okay, you're with Cacti. <laughs> nice. Oh, th are three of you together? What's the relationship? <laughs> relationship I? <laughs> just to make it more exciting. <laughs> baseball should have more scandals and less baseball. <laughs> more women would watch it. I can tell not a lot of women watch baseball because I think if they had, they would have caught those guys cheating a long time ago. <laughs> baseball added a new rule this year. Yeah. And they added a 15 second pitch clock. You know, like it. <laughs> it speeds things up. It speeds things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well so, yeah, some people like it, some people don't like it. It's pretty quick. But, you know, I think, like, if this is what it takes to get guys to realize that 15 seconds is not. <laughs> Really. <laughs> I have three brothers. I grew up with three brothers. I was the only girl growing up. I was definitely like a tomboy. But my parents, they wanted me to be more ladylike. So they gave me less allowance. <laughs> I mean, it was my fault. I never asked for a raise or anything. So. <laughs> Guns should be banned. Um, or just like, I think we should restrict certain people from buying them. Uh, you know, people like men. <laughs> I just think like men shoot a lot of people <laughs> for some reason. That's crazy. Like, I don't know, like, why women, like, we don't shoot that many people. <laughs> but I feel like it's probably because, like, we just don't want to see people die. We just want to see them suffer. <laughs> I remember uh, this one time in college, this guy, he was, like, totally, like, mansplaining economics to me. <laughs> He's my econ professor, but... <laughs> <laughs> my friend, I had a friend who majored in feminist studies. No, it worked out, because like now she does porn. So it's, it's cool. It's like feminist porn. What is feminist no. porn? What is feminist porn? Yeah. You've never seen feminist porn? You seem like you would. <laughs> Honestly, out of all the people here, I thought I was going to have you come up and explain what feminist porn was. I'm a very non-confrontational person. I don't like to talk to people about stuff. Like, for example, my roommate, he's had my favorite mug in his room. I haven't said anything, but I'm like, okay, this is a problem. I, I should just confront him. Um, but I haven't, and I'm not going to. But <laughs> what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to talk about it on stage. 
and film it and then put it online. <laughs> and just hope that he sees it. <laughs> so, uh, like, if you're watching this, Ryan, good case. <laughs> Clean your room, uh, bring my mug back, thank you.